is up YouTube, Burgi here. I am bringing you a rather late um, video about the Fremenic Sagas. Pretty much uh, what I want to do here is uh, discuss the Fremenic Sagas that came out well, yesterday. It's going to be yesterday now because this video will go up on uh, Wednesday. Um, pretty much, uh, you know, I want to sort of talk over the top of these and show you what's going on and, you know, what what's what and talk about a few other things too. So, um, First off, I want to tell you what the requirements are for these. Uh, there's two new sagas, Thoki Block Off, and there is Nadir. Thoki Block Off, you need to find the Rock and Twine bundle as you uh, are watching on screen now. Um, within Demonheim, then speak to Skaldrin, and Demonheim, on the Demonheim Peninsula, you'll be asked to find. You'll only be able to find the item if you meet the following requirements. 71 Dungeoneering, you must be a current RuneScape member. The item can only be found on the first set of occult floors, 36 to 40, and you must have completed Docket to them. You need 75 Strength to complete the unabridged version. Nadir, you need 35 Dungeoneering. You need to be a current RuneScape member. This item can only be found on the furnished floors, 18 to 22. To complete the unabridged, you need 55 DG, 45 Thieving, and 60 Attack. So it's not too bad. Uh, personally, I like the sagas um, because it reveals a bit of the Demonheim story, which is very interesting. Uh, after the Nadir one, which I thought was brilliant, I think we will see more of... Uh, I think we're going to see Floor 61 in the next set because um, you see Bill Ratch leaving through the room with um, Moira and... After she, you know, they, they find the ritual marker down there on 460. So it's it is going to be interesting, and it's one thing I am really, 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 really looking forward to. So I can't wait for that. But it'll probably be a while before we see that, unfortunately. Um, next thing, obviously, they've added a new Squill of Fortune things, quest spins. You get two spins per quest, I believe. Um, and the people who have already done all the quests, such as myself, don't get the spins to keep the economy, you know, good. Because if they suddenly started giving everybody who had a quest kit the spins, then there'd be a lot of new items coming in the game and they don't really want. But I'm not personally bothered about it. I think it's a good idea myself. So, uh, yeah, anything that sort of disencourages people from buying spins is a good thing. Also, I want to talk about my new RS Facebook that I've set up. I will put a link on screen uh, well, I can't put a link on screen. I'll put a annotation on screen or a title on screen so you can see what my uh, Facebook is called, RS Rogi. I'll also put a link in the description so you can click that and go check it out. Um, don't forget to like it. I want it to be like a community page sort of thing, so everybody's free to post whatever they want. Well, obviously within reason. Um, at the minute, everybody can post. If it gets out of hand and people start posting spam and stuff like that, I'll just remove the privileges so only only me and certain other people can post as well. Um, but hopefully it won't come to that and hopefully you'll all behave and we'll see what happens. I want to use it as a better way to communicate with you guys so I can post new videos on there, uh, funny pictures that I've found or whatever. With you know, So it's an easy way to communicate with you guys that use Facebook rather than having to make a new video completely. Um, but we'll see how it goes if, you, if you're interested in it give us a like and we'll see what happens you know so obviously if we can turn into a community page um next thing i want to talk about is the prank call that we did the other day um ryan ovati i uh, put a link to his channel on screen so you can see that uh he did a prank call with us on skype uh put a link to the video on screen as well uh so you can go and check that out if you haven't seen it already go watch it it's very funny uh let me know what you think about these kind of videos because um we do enjoy doing them, but I don't know what you think. According to the ratings on the last video, it went down very, very well, which is a very good thing because I didn't think it would. There were a few comments that people complained about and saying that it was immature, but you know, it's 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 all in good spirits. So if if you like that, let us know and we'll do more. If not, then whatever. But as it stands, the feedback seems to be pretty good. Um, PVM Fridays and DG drops. Um, I've been getting a lot of Dungeoneering drops recently. Well, not a lot, but you know, a few DG drops from Slay Monsters and Dungeoneering, such as Hex Hunter Bows. If you want me to uh, put those into PVM Fridays vids, let me know. Uh, I think it's a good idea because it adds a bit of variation rather than the just sort of bespoke God Wars boss or whatever. And they're quite nice to see on the floor as well. So I have got Hex Hunter Bows on vid, so I'll put them in my next PVM Fridays vid, which should be out this Friday. I don't know whether to postpone it or not because I haven't gotten many drops, so I might 
leave it till next week. Um, we'll see what happens. If it isn't out on Friday, then it's being postponed. If it if it is, then it's out. But I, I don't want to put up spam videos with not very good content in them because I want you guys to enjoy what, what you're watching. Um, also about the Dark Dive Bomb Dirt video, I'll put a link to that on screen right now so you can see that. If you haven't seen that already, go watch it. That's pretty funny too. I put that video up um, last week. Basically what is happening is that I'm on low HP. Well, I, my friend is on low HP. I'm on TeamSpeak with him. The idea is to get really low HP in Darks and try and one hit people. Um, what he does is it, he's still, he stood next to me on one HP. I'm he stood next to him on full HP because I pick up his shit when he dies pretty much. And I think people didn't understand what, what was happening in that, and I just wanted to sort of say what it was because it got quite a lot, a lot of dislikes. If you like me sort of making these stupid PK videos, let me know, I'll do more. But um, the first one I did got very good feedback, the second one didn't, so I'm not really sure. Let me know what you think about that as well. Also, what you see on screen right now is the uh, Frost Dragons. Uh, I found this little thing that I thought was pretty cool. Um, Somebody told me about it. If you use a bucket of milk on a frost dragon, you get a message in chat that says they are great, which is a reference to the British TV uh, advert for the Frosties breakfast cereal. Um, the sort of you know quote thing is they are great, and that's, that's what it's referring to. Put putting the milk on the Frosties kind of thing, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Quite a short video. Thanks for watching and subscribe. Cheers, guys.